Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I'm just going to tie a wee um, copper nymph, if you like. Now the hook and device is a size 14 uh, Camazon B175. A wee one there. The thread that I'm going to use is uni thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the other hook. Now I would at times tie the whole fly with um, copper wire but I'm low on the medium copper wire so I'm just having to use the thread first just as the binding agent if you like. Now the tail I'm just going to use uh, cock pheasant fibers. Now, see them ones are they have no tips they are broke but keep them we will use them for the thorax cover so we'll just come in and take another pinch of the cock pheasant fibers you just want a wee small tail on this fly just much the length of the the hook shank over the back just come in with a couple of turns then I'm going to come in and trim this around about the length of the body get our copper wire which is on a bobbin holder that's it there is the medium gauge then I'm just going to tie this in and I'll still keep it on the just leave it on this bobbin holder until this spool goes down right, I'm just going to run my thread up just trying to reduce any lumps and bumps just trying to keep it even to there and then I'll just come in and throw in a whip finish that away then we'll bring up our medium copper wire you're just looking one turn in front of the other just touching turns of the copper wire that's good we fly this just an all-round general nymph pattern but it's a good fly for there's a wee buzzer hatch on as well now just up the length of the body there then we'll just come back in with her you need 380 and black again. Just going to start off at the eye. I'll just wind it up to the copper the end of the copper wire body. Remove the waist tag, and then I'm just keeping the copper wire in underneath the hook shank. Just open tight turns. And tie this in right up to the eye, and then I'm just going to bend and break away the copper wire. Bring my thread back up halfway around about the thorax. We'll come in and get our cock and fibers that I ripped off earlier on that the tips were broke on. We'll just line these up. Just pull this in the length. Now, what you could do here is you could use a uh, brown flaxy floss for the thorax. I'm just going to just holding these over the back, bringing my thread down to the eye, just making sure my cock and fibers are well secured in. Back up the thorax, I'm just using a brown SLF. I'll just show you the wee box. That one there, just a medium brown. This one here, that's the, the SLF there. Just if you're interested. Slide this up. I want a decent thorax on the on the wee pattern. Right. Just take away that fluff. Sweep everything that's going forward to the eye back. Just leave yourself plenty of room here just to tie off. Just be favour there. Just take that away. Then you can bring over your cock pheasant favours your thorax cover. Just come around. A couple of turns to hold. Just going to bring the thread in front. Now come in nice pair of sharp scissors. Probably one of the best things you could buy if you're thinking about starting fly tying or you're just getting into your fly tying journey. Now, at this stage just take your time. 
your new rush. There's nobody going to whip you within an inch of your life. Just take your time. Eh? Just want to make sure that I've got the whole head covered. Just notice there on the bigger screen that I have here. I just didn't get that wee bit there. Eh? Just keep your thread tight. And then just come in and throw in a whip finish. Put the thread nice and tight. Come in and trim away the tan. Now at this stage, I just like to come in with my needle. And just pull out some of the dubbing rather than just use the Velcro. It's not the size of the hook. Just want to pull some of it out. Tease it out. Be bits of flesh in that too, you see, in that SLF. So it's good stuff. Then I'm just going to come in with a wee like a clear varnish just onto the head right the whole way right round and then always got a bit of waste wire on my desk just to clean out the eye just make sure it's clean it's not worse when you get out and the eye's blocked up with varnish so there you go guys it's just a wee it's a wee simple um, copper nymph um, it's not a new pattern, it's, it's been about for a while, the, the copper nymph, and you can't add with the, I think it was, um, goose bad tails dyed brown, um, but look, just using materials that you've got, the wee flats still work, um, get a few in your box for next season, um, or maybe if you're out fishing for the rainbows and the the put and take fisheries that we fly might work so anyway guys listen as always many thanks for taking the time to view the video i really appreciate it if you like the wee videos i'm putting together please consider subscribing to my channel helps the wee channel out and until next time folks stay safe and if you're out take lines okay folks the next fly up on the channel this wee fly here wee blue charm wee harrowing version so hopefully you can join me for that.